Hello everyone, welcome to linuxhint.com YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about a command named as xargs. So xargs is a great command that reads streams of data from standard input, then generates and executes command lines, meaning it can take output of a command and passes it as an argument of another command, which is really handy. If no command is specified, xargs execute echo by default. You may also instruct it to read data from a file instead of using stdin, all right? So today we're going to do some of the simple examples which would basically help you understand xargs. Uh, xargs is useful in daily usage of the command line and we are going to do some of the examples so that you could understand that how you can take an input from an one command which would be obviously the output of that command and you could take it as an input for another command okay so let's go ahead and let's do a simple example and let's see that how this thing works out so first of all um, let's say that we have echo statement which prints out dir1 dir2 and dir3 okay so it prints out that so right now you can see that on my desktop right now this is my present directory i only have two files which is one is essentially file one and the other one is file one dot text okay so let me just put them in trash all right so right now my desktop is completely empty right so if i echo it write this command okay you can see that it is basically printing out dir1 dir2 and dir3 which is basically the output of this single command so what if i want to use the output of this single command how do i do that so in order to do that let me show you first that if we ls here it's completely empty and if i echo this now i would write here a pipe sign and now i'm going to use xargs command so i would write here xargs and let's say that I want to use this echo command uh, and I want to execute on it mkdir. So mkdir command it basically create directory. Okay, so if I write here mkdir, chances are that it's going to take the output as an input and it is going to create three uh, directories. Okay, so that's what it's going to do. If we hit enter, you can see that it has created three directories dir1, dir2, and dir3. Right? So if I ls here now, you can see that we have three directories right here. So what if we want to delete these three directories? So how do I do that? I could do that, that instead of writing here mkdir, I'm going to write here rm hyphen r. So I hit enter and you can see that now those three directories have been gone. Okay. And the concept is simple that whatever command you're going to write here would produce a certain output. And using this command, you can basically execute on the output of this command. Okay. Whatever that command could be. Okay. So in my case, it's simply echo. So there is another example that we could do. Let's say that there is a sequence command in uh, terminal, which is very famous. So let's say that we have sequence three and you can see that we have printed out numbers from one to three. So what if we want to execute something on it? So we could do that. Um, we, what we would do is that we'd write here sequence three and then would basically write here xargs, which is x arguments. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to write here echo. And then we're going to write here three numbers. Okay. Or we can write here number. Okay. We hit enter and you can see that it says number one, number two. It says number one, two, three. Okay. So what if we want to use this output? to have number with every number okay so what we can do for that we would just write here seq3 or let me just capture the command and then we're going to write here xargs and then we're going to use a flag called as hyphen n and then we're going to write here one which means that with every member of the output we're going to print out echo. So echo is going to be executed on every single output member. Okay. 
So if we hit enter, you can see that now it says number one, number two, and number three, right? So this was pretty simple. In the similar way, um, we can do something like this. If we do, let me just clear it first, okay? So if we do something like this, if we write here echo, and then we write here file one, then we write here file two, and then we write here file three. And if we write a pipe sign here, we write xargs. And then let's say if we write here touch, okay? So if we hit enter, you can see that it has created three files actually, right? File one, file two, and file three, okay? Using xargs. So now we have three files here. What we can do is that we can also delete them using the same technique that we use in the case of directories, right? So what we would do would just write here xargs and then we write here rm. We hit enter and now you can see that those three files have been gone. So another thing that you could do using xargs is basically reading a certain file as an input and printing it out. So how do we do that? So for example, um, let's go to our home directory, let's ls here. So we don't have any file here, right? So let me just go back to the desktop. So here you can see that on my desktop, I have a file which is new file uh, .txt, but it is empty right now, okay? So what I can do is that I can add something to this file. Uh, so I would write here nano new file .txt, and I would write here something. This is new file testing using Linux database you know i could write anything linux int postgres right so it's just a random text that i have written so i press ctrl o hit enter ctrl x i've come out of here and let me just recheck if we have something in this file you can see that this line is written so how using xargs we could basically uh, get the input inside um, and extract it and read it okay so let me show you that. So for that, what you would do, you would just simply write here xargs and you would write here um, hyphen a, which is a flag that would basically help us uh, read the file, whatever is inside of it. So we just write here new file.txt, we hit enter and you can see that it has read the file and it has basically printed out, this is new file testing using Linux database, Linux in Postgres, right? So this is the exact same line that we have written inside the new file.txt and it has basically read it successfully. So as I've told you in the beginning that you could also use xargs instead of stdin to read a file. Okay, hope you've got the point. So there are many examples that we could do and you could understand xargs, but the main concept is that you could basically use xargs to execute on other commands okay so for example if you want to execute uh, on the one ls commands output and a single command you can use xargs with a pipe sign in between so hope you have got the point you have learned something new uh, you've enjoyed this video if you really enjoyed it give it a thumbs up consider subscribing because we put a lot of content out here for free and for written articles, you can always visit our website linuxin.com. Thank you so much for watching.